Before we tackle this problem, let's first take a look at parallel lines and four-sided figures that can be created using parallel lines. We'll talk about angles. Here's a new slide. And let's just start off with some numbers here, just sort of picked arbitrarily. So suppose this angle, suppose this were 60 degrees. Suppose this were 60 degrees. Well, a few things. First of all, the angles along a line, so to speak, the angles on the same side of the line, add up to 180 degrees. So this would be 120. This would be 120. And that angle plus that angle, those add up to 180 degrees. Very important to remember. Some other things to remember. If this is 60, then down here, that's also 60. That's true if the lines are parallel. And one thing to mention is that parallel lines on the test, either you will see the words indicating that lines are parallel, or you might see a, a little marker like, like this, a little marker like this on one side, this on the other side, and then down here as well, that would indicate that the lines are parallel. But in any event, if the lines are parallel, whatever angle this is, this is the same angle. This is 120, this is 120. Okay, some other things that are true. We said 120 up here. Well, then this angle opposite that angle would also be 120. And we said 60 up here. Well, then this angle over here opposite it would be 60. All right, let's add some other important information. Let's insert another line. And let's say that this new line is parallel to the line on the left. So I'll write these markers again. So this line and, and this line, I'll write them up here on the up at this line and this line, these markers indicating that those lines are parallel as well. Well, if those are parallel, we had 60 degrees over here. Well, then this is also 60, which means down here, this is also 60. And up here we have 60 and down here we have what? 120. So there's a lot drawn in there. If you want to sort of look at a general diagram, something like this, if this were Y degrees, this were X degrees, those two would add up to 180 degrees. And then we said, if this were Y, then, then this would be Y. If this is X, this would be X, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Going back to this diagram, well, now let's talk about, I'll use a different color here. Now let's talk about this four-sided figure, this four-sided figure that we have in here. Looks a little bit like this diagram we're about to look at in a minute. This four-sided figure in here, and I can write this a little bit better. The two sides on the top are parallel to each other. The sides on the left and right are parallel to each other. You'll notice that this angle and this angle add to 180. You'll notice that this angle and this angle also add to 180. And you'll notice that this angle and this angle are the same. And this angle and this angle are the same. They are equal to each other. And how many degrees inside this four-sided figure, this quadrilateral? Not 180, but 180 times 2, 360. So with all of that in mind, now let's take a look at the question. In the quadrilateral below, the four-sided figure below, now let's stop. It looks like the lines PQ and SR are parallel to each other, but they don't say that. So you can't assume anything. A four-sided figure, well, hey, this is a four-sided figure, even though lines aren't necessarily parallel to each other. In a lot of ways, this is kind of a trick question. This 112, well, hey, 112 and 70, they don't add up to 180. They add up to 182. So lines PQ and SR actually aren't parallel to each other, but that turns out to be fine. What we want to focus on is the question itself. Well, let's just do a little review here. So suppose I draw this line and then these two, suppose that these two are parallel. I'll even put the marker there to indicate that they are parallel. Suppose they are parallel. If this were 70, then this would be 70. And this would be what? 110. 70 and 110 add to 180 degrees. We know those angles would have to add to 180 degrees. So the answer here, X degrees, X would equal 110. So this question, a little tricky, it was worth going over parallel lines. Here, whether the lines PQ and SR are parallel is actually irrelevant. All we're interested in are PS and QR. They would be parallel if what? If X is equal to 110 degrees, 110 plus 70 is 180. So answer, 110. Really interesting question. If you found that explanation helpful, please click the like button, share it with your friends who are taking the ACT, subscribe to the channel. And if you have any thoughts on this question, by all means, leave them in the comment section. We'll see you in the next video.